This fish is so useless it literally cooks itself to death in the sun, yet it's outlived dinosaurs. Let me explain this evolutionary nightmare. The ocean sunfish might be the universe's biggest practical joke. Picture this, a 2,000 pound fish that can't even swim properly because instead of a tail, evolution gave it a stub, a clavis, basically nature's cruelest punchline. These things regularly float to the surface and just stay there, stuck, sunbathing until they literally overheat and die. That's not a metaphor. They cook themselves. But wait, it gets worse. Sea lions will swim up and take actual bites out of them. The sunfish? They just keep vibing. Their walnut-sized brain processes the pain but can't quite connect the dots on, hey, maybe I should leave. So they just float there, confused, getting eaten alive. And predators don't even want them. They're so bony and rubbery that sharks bite once and go, nah, I'm good, and swim away. The only thing that enjoys sunfish? The 40-plus species of parasites covering their body at any given time. Seagulls literally land on them like floating buffets just to eat the bugs off. Oh, and their mouth. Permanently stuck open. Can't close it. So their entire survival strategy is floating around with their mouth agape, hoping jellyfish accidentally drift in. So how are these floating disasters still alive? Here's the twist. They've been doing absolutely nothing successfully for 45 million years. They survived whatever killed the dinosaurs. They've outlasted saber-toothed tigers, woolly mammoths, and countless, better-designed species. Turns out in evolution, sometimes the best strategy is just being too weird to die. The sunfish, proof that you do not need to be good at anything if you recommitted to the bit.